is looking at vibrancy and the ways that we can pull inspiration from the counterculture movements to rethink ethical fashion. <laughs> Essentially, my pieces were based on the idea that a lot of music has this raw, edgy sensuality that's underlying. So I've taken those feelings and translated them into my fashion life. Tonight we're celebrating a new subculture known as Music Couture. To kick off this evening, Lorraine Boyle and Christine Beauchamp here to discuss the cultural impact of music and fashion. I was inspired by the Paris Ballet. I think the collection speaks for itself, so I hope you enjoy it. My inspiration was classical music and ballet. I tried to choose very air-like, flowy fabric that would move with the model as they were going. When I heard about the theme, I was thinking about how different genres of music have very distinct aesthetics associated with them. I thought it would be fun to make a line that you could wear either to a punk rock concert or to a classical music event like the Philharmonic or the Opera. She got one of your kids, got you for 18 years. I know somebody paying child support for one of his kids. His baby mama con crib is bigger than his. As a musician, I constantly look for ways to combine music and design. I've created six pairs of shoes as a visual narrative for one of my original songs. This is Mercer Street, 414 AM. I've been running so deep. Meet me at Prince and Mercer inspired by the Greek muse Euterp, the muse of music. I wanted to transition her into contemporary fashion, give her a more edgy look. My collection is a silhouette of 60s evening wear with embellishments and ornamentation of the Renaissance court. I was listening to a lot of recordings from the 60s and imagining what women of that time would have worn to see a performance like that. This selection is inspired by my Eastern heritage and my Western culture. I want to thank everybody for being passionate about the project, being involved. It's really a communal success. Thank <laughs> you.